ocean friends. Welcome back to another episode of Incredible Oceans TV. We're going to talk about coastal erosion today and coastal sea defences. And there's no better place to do that than on the Suffolk coastline, which is one of the fastest eroding coastlines in the UK. As you can see all around me, there's a ton of sand. That's because the main geology here is sandstone and it's a really soft, easily erodible rock. Slightly higher up behind me, you can see a slightly harder rock and this is because the roots of the plants are binding this soil together. But what coastal defences do we have around Suffolk? And how are they using these to protect the Suffolk coastline? So there's two different kinds of ways we can protect our coastline. There's hard engineering and there's soft engineering. Hard engineering is like what you see behind me. It's physical things that humans have put on the beach to break up the wave energy and protect the cliffs. It's things like these geotextile bags, which are filled with rocks and aim to keep sediment on the beach where it is. Really good idea, stops our beaches disappearing, but we do sometimes find bits of these bags pop up on other beaches. So this is Thorpness Beach, and we'll find bits of that bag a couple of miles that way. Not great for our ocean, not great for our ocean animals either, but it is a really good solution to coastal erosion. We've also got these wire cages, which are called gabions. They're filled with bigger rocks and the aim is it's like a seawall and it deflects away the energy of the waves. So the gabions break up the wave energy. They do this by deflecting the water in several different directions at once. So when I throw a bucket of water at a regular pool, it comes back in my face and I get very wet. But when I throw a bucket of water at this wall, no backsplash, really cool. Up above them, behind me, you can see the vegetated area of the cliff. The roots of the plants bind the soil together and help protect it from erosion. So this is a slightly different form of engineering and this is what we call soft engineering, which is using natural defences like plants to protect our coastlines against erosion. Another example of this is just a few miles down the beach from Thorpe Ness here, we have a salt marsh. Salt marshes are also really good at absorbing wave energy, a bit similar to this. They're home to lots of different plants and wildlife, things like sorrel, wild lavender, sea lavender, and they're really good nurseries for fish as well. Really diverse and quite rare habitats. So that's a really nice way of protecting our coasts as well. So those are some basic sea defences that we see all along the Suffolk coastline. And next time you're out and about, make sure you have a look out for them. Please don't climb on them, be really careful. Always stay two metres away from a cliff edge. And I hope you really enjoyed this episode of Incredible Oceans. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next week.